Hey guys, so I'm going for the dump and swirl again. I'm just hooked because I find it so fascinating and I want to understand what's happening here. So in my last video, I added a bit of the black satin enamels into my black paint and got less cells. But I truly, truly believe in colors having a different effect on the result. Each color reacts differently and I used different colors in my last video. So what I'm going to do today is use the same ones as in my first video, or almost the same. I'm still going for red, yellow, and orange. This is orange flame, saffron, yellow, and I think the red is different though. Berry, red. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of the satin enamels into my black paint like I explained in my last video. And I'm going to just go for this again, except on a 24 by 20 inch canvas. So I'll show you how much paint I'm using and I'm going to set myself up here and I am going for this. Alright you guys, so this is about an hour later and this pretty much confirms what I was saying at the beginning. These colors reacted so much more than the other purple and coral colors from my last video. This is so fascinating and I, <laughs> I'm happy because I have a 40 by 30 canvas and I'm just, I'm totally going to go huge and try this on a bigger one. It did weird out a bit, but I mean, it's so cool how it reacts. I'm in love. Stay tuned for the dried result. 
back with the dried result and it looks awesome dried and varnished you can see that shine there it looks so much like the other one it's crazy the colors are very similar except the black isn't at the bottom it's in the middle and there's this creepy weird white pinkish thing here let's try and name that creepiness there let's try and give it a name <laughs> It looks like, I don't know, something coming out of that black sucked in hole. I don't know. <laughs> okay, hope you guys like this and have a good one.